appreciates fact-based songs. Yeah! That was the end of the response to the very last song we performed. But ladies and gentlemen, a friend of ours at the New York Hall of Science in Queens, New York, kicked us to the notion that essentially the facts of that last song, which are all featured in the 1962 Golden Book Encyclopedia, are in fact already, at this early date, almost a lot of years later, are already wrong. This, ladies and gentlemen, as they might be giants, are the shining avatars of fun and motivation. We, and freely acknowledge, we stand corrected on the facts of that song that we didn't write, that we just performed. And on behalf of the people who've been collecting the publishing on those songs that we've been flogging for so long, we'd like to apologize. And we would like a little bit of our hard-earned effort back in the form of financial compensation. But to make it up to you, the fact song-loving audience of Clark, New Jersey, at the time, we have created an answer song to ourselves. This is going to be happening more and more. This is the trend you're going to see. It's going to, I, I predict it's going to actually jump like a virus over to country music or Eagles-based music, which is what I call it. And you're going to see some of those tough guys going, I think I should punch myself in the face in their answer songs to their pro-violence songs. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm getting distracted. I don't want to get off the topic. That last song, the official title was Why Does the Sunshine? Question mark, parentheses, the sun is a mask, but then who doesn't pass? This next song is entitled Why Does the Sun Really Shine? Parentheses, a question mark, parentheses, the sun is a miasma of incandescent plasma.